All right, folks, welcome back for a little bit for two things. First of all, on Tuesday, the 28th, I will be at an event where Lieutenant Colonel Alan West will be speaking. I hope to be able to actually speak to him for a bit, but I know it's going to be a big deal. I will be videoing so that I will at least be able to put the speech up. If you have any questions you'd like me to try to ask him, send them to contact at sheepdogsmokey.com. Make sure you put the title, or I'm sorry, the subject as question for Lieutenant Colonel West. Now, roughly a month from now, I'll also be meeting Chad Prather uh, at the same event that's a monthly deal with this group. And if you have questions, same email, contact at sheepdogsmokey.com. Subject line, question for Chad Prather. I don't make any promises that I will even be chosen to ask, uh, and I'll probably only get one question. So I will be going through looking for the one that I feel is best for if I get to even ask a question. I'm not gonna be going live just because I know that area and I won't have the best of internet and I cannot use their Wi-Fi. So I will be recording the show, uh, the speech, so that I can post it. It will be here on YouTube uh, I'll also be chopping it up into segments to post to uh, TikTok and Clapper. I am Sheepdog Smokey on TikTok and Sheepdog underscore Smokey on Clapper. Now that said, there is another issue. Just a few weeks ago, I had a video taken down where I ended it, indicated that I would not be complying with the current mandate because of medical issues. I've been advised I should not do that. Now I'm moderating my language here so that if anyone complains, YouTube will actually have to watch this video. And my appeal has been rejected. I did not in that video advise anyone on what choice they should make. I told them to speak to your personal doctor. I have never and will never listen to anyone about a medical decision that is not an MD that is my current physician. It's that simple. I listen to medical doctors on how to act in an emergency when they post videos, you know, how to splint a broken bone, how to apply a tourniquet, how to treat for shock, those types of things. Because those are not medical decisions. Those are how to act in a life-saving situation. But currently we're being inundated with actors, athletes, and politicians, and bureaucrats with an MD simply ordering us to comply with a national mandate. Any and every time I speak up and say that my personal doctor, who has examined me, who knows me very well, has told me I should not do this, I'm almost treated as if I have a vacuum between my ears. I find it ironic because the very people who do that say, well, my doctor told me it would not be wise for me to continue my pregnancy. Why do you oppose abortion? Well, I oppose abortion because 99.9% .9 of medical doctors, those with an MD, wouldn't say that. Most of the people saying that are the ones who've been to Planned Parenthood and been told, well, it's gonna be hard to carry this into this baby to term. and It's not really a baby. and Then you're gonna have your life interrupted and, they never speak about actual health instances. They just talk about how it's going to be difficult to be a pregnant woman and then raise a child. My stance has always and will always be that abortion is the ending of a human life. But if it is not my child and an actual MD says it needs to happen, I'm not involved in that decision. I find it very, very worrisome that we have people who can actually scream, my body, my choice, you can't pass any law or any mandate or any executive order even touching abortion. Are the same ones screaming, you have no choice, it is not your body to control, you will do this, this medical decision has been made for you. And they can't see the sheer hypocrisy of it. I have talked to my doctor, but the video where I made that clear has been removed. <clears throat> and again, I'm moderating my voice here, and I'm not going to delete this video from my computer so that I have it, so that should I have to actually demand an audience with YouTube and say, you're going to watch this entire video front to back, 
You're not going to pause it. You're not going to speak during it. You're going to watch it, take notes, and tell me at what timestamp I told anyone what to do. Tell me at what timestamp I told anyone yes or no on this. When you fail that, tell me how my exercising my right to medical autonomy breaks any of your rules. Because you see, if their rules and their community guidelines stated, you will become a puppet of the state, beholden to them in every way and have no autonomy in your decisions, I would have sent them a certified letter saying, delete my channel. You have 24 hours. If you don't, I will sue. My having a channel on YouTube or TikTok or Clapper or anywhere else does not strip me of my right to make my own medical decisions after consulting with a man who has 40 plus years of experience in the medical industry. Massive, massive career. No complaints ever. Continuing education through the entire time. He is an expert in his field. Yet today we're told, oh no, ignore him. He doesn't fit the political message. And that's why I have decided that the Lieutenant Colonel is who we need for Texas because he is very much of the same mind. Now, yes, Governor Abbott did issue an executive order stating that no government agency, city, state, county, doesn't matter, may issue a mask or jab mandate. It shall be up to the individual or if the individual is a child, up to their parents. And of course, we have school districts and other government entities that are just saying, no, we're going to issue them. You can't stop us. And they're being, well, forced to face the repercussions of their actions. But Governor Abbott did that, and it was too little too late for me. Lieutenant Colonel West, I feel is the right man for the job now. And honestly, I hope he only does a few short years and then throws his weight behind us, a successor who will continue the work because the more time you spend in politics, the more it corrupts you. And I think that's what happened to Greg Abbott. He's still a good man. He's just been there too long. So on Tuesday, I get to meet who I hope will be the next governor of the state of Texas. And in a month, I get to meet a man who is hilarious and very politically incorrect. And hopefully I'll get to actually ask him both a question. So again, the email address, contact at sheepdogsmoking.com. Make sure your subject line is question for Lieutenant Colonel West or question for Chad Prather if you wish to submit a question. I make no guarantees, no promises. I don't even say I'll do my best. I'm just going to say if I'm allowed to ask, I'll ask what I can. You just have a good day, good week next week. God bless.